All right, folks, welcome back. And um, the next step here is we're going to install this hardware, which is going to consist of this 12 millimeter uh, screw and this pivot bracket. It goes, um, the actual, this is called a tension post. And this goes right here. And this is the bag that that hardware comes in and you'll have three bags one for each motor unit I am gonna put a little bit of Loctite on this and you don't fully tighten this you just get it snug and later steps you'll fully tighten it <clears throat> and this tin this uh, uh, tenon post here is threaded and you'll see what it's all about here in a minute okay so that takes care of that the next step is to we're going to install this tenon bracket um, with this uh, this is going to be a 14 millimeter this is a 14 millimeter bolt but a half inch uh, wrench is what it's going to take to <clears throat> they tell you to use an adjustable wrench on this but it's half inch so let me get the camera moved over and we'll show you how this is installed I'm going to go ahead and put some a little bit of Loctite on the on the edge here and let me get that camera swung over on this riser plate going to come in here and this L bracket or this tenon bracket is going to go in this orientation. You're going to go ahead and just thread it in. And, and again, you don't fully tighten it, you just leave it somewhat loose. We're going to go ahead and install the motor. This is an eccentric collar and um, what it has if you can see this it it's it's oblong or tapered or not tapered but this is made to it's a locking collar is what they're called so once you get this uh shaft screw in place then this basically locks in uh it's a it's a way to lock in this bolt and then that uh uh the bearing inside that motor plate is what's going to be the pivot and then the movement will be on the bearing so let's get that going here so just make sure that you put your go ahead and slip your collar on there grab your motor get this in here and you got to turn this collar to make sure it seats on the shaft Now between this locking collar and the head of this um, shaft bolt, there will be a gap. So don't think that it's not all the way in, it's in. Okay, once you put that collar in there and you turn it, once the bearing starts turning, that's all you need to do, then you just come in here and tighten this set screw. here which involves this long threaded bolt a compression spring and two washers so it goes a washer in first your spring then another washer and then we're going to thread it down into there 
and lock that motor in place. So you may need, remember they told you not to tighten these too much. Just kind of leave them loose. That way you can turn them so this can line up. And all you're going to do is drop your bolt in here, swing your motor up, and you'll feel it come in contact with that, with that gear bar here, and it'll lock into place. And then just start threading, start threading your bolt down. But before you do that, you want to go ahead and tighten, tighten this up. Okay, and then go ahead and tighten your top uh, hex bolt. tensioning part, once it's seated, which it is, you want to do three full revolutions. So I'm going to put a mark here and we'll count three revolutions. That's one, two, three. Okay, and that'll take care of that side. Now we'll go ahead and, and do the same process on the uh, opposite end. Okay, folks, um, what we're doing here is we're getting down the, uh, the Z-axis and we got to remove this plate. So there's uh, 10 bolts, five and five on each side. 